I want to give context to what I'm saying. Basically, the Ring Magazine is equivalent to a YouTube channel now. It's just a media platform for Golden Boy, man. And it has no value in boxing in 2022. But I really want to talk about the reason why I think Al Haim, why I know Al Haim is a piece of shit. I'm going to take you guys back to May of 19 when Jojo Diaz fought Gary Russell. Golden Boy put out all these these emails saying Al Heyman's a black Hitler, a nigga, and I was fighting that battle, fighting that battle, fighting that battle. And then we get to the fight, and I was like, the only way I'm going to get Oscar is if he shows up to a PBC event. You know what Al Heyman told Brittany from TGB? Cancel the question and answer because I was about to hammer their ass. And I woke up and I says, these men are really benefiting off this racism shit. And then we fast forward, right? I was well on my way to becoming a Hall of Fame journalist. And by many accounts, everybody knows I'm one of the, I'm one of the better ones out there, right? I was making eight to $12,000 a month on YouTube. Life was great. But I always thought that we had to take a stand. Because people say, there's racism in boxing. Oh, we got to stand up. We got to fight, man. We got to take the money out of power. These We got to take the power from these men in suits. Nobody stood with me, man. From the fan perspective, from groups, from... I was out there by myself fighting while so many black men in boxing just sat back and watched. <laughs> We're cowards, man. We're comfortable cowards, man. I challenge a black fighter, manager, promoter, because Al Heyman ain't going to do it. I challenge y'all to put integrity and pride and generational moving forward over your check. I'm never going to the Hall of Fame, which I would have in 25 years. By all accounts, I would have been a Hall of Famer, especially the relationships that I would have dealt with with the future promoters who are fighters now. And, and now they box me out like I was crazy. When in fact I was given the answers. So this is why Al Heyman is a piece of shit because he benefits off that racism. He really didn't want to fight against the motherfuckers. The nigga banned me from going after Oscar at his event. Imagine that shit. And imagine all these fighters talking about all oh, these janky sanctioning fees, but they won't throw the belt in the trash. No, they're going to take that because you know why? The networks pay more. <laughs> I made my sacrifice, y'all, and I'm happy to the motherfucker, man. I made my sacrifice and no one is be I am beholden to no money, no time, to no man. And uh I thank God he made me the way he made me, man. And uh I wish y'all well fighting those battles. But until y'all stop becoming comfortable cowards and start putting commerce over confidence and integrity, it's just gonna be cyclical. The fighters in the 80s are broke, the fighters in the 70s are broke, the fight many of the fighters in the 90s are broke, and guess what's gonna happen to these fighters in 2020? If you don't get a fight date, you gonna be broke. And uh, everything that I say is facts. If you challenge me, you can just go through my YouTube channel and that's it, man. So. Uh, so, so this is why I like just using my platform as a, being an instigator yeah, with the truth. Because what you going to do to me now? <laughs> what you going to take my stock portfolio? What you going to do? Take my real estate portfolio? <laughs> oh, man. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing like when a rabbit has all the guns. Y'all got one gun. I got all the guns that control and protect me. I'm gone, man. Y'all have a great Saturday, man. That Ring Magazine shit is felonious. I challenge y'all to go after WBC, WBA, ESPN, everybody else. Y'all niggas only fighting. Y'all black fighters only fighting once a year. What y'all got to lose? Uh, that check. I'm gone, man. Peace.